People thought that I quit, thought that I blew up my account, thought I had no money left, and I finally gave up day trading. After a two-week hiatus, after a two-week sabbatical, after two weeks of traveling the West Coast, I came back. I was in the woods, I was meditating, I was becoming spiritual, and then I figured out that all that crap sucks, and I want to get back to making money, and I want to get back to day trading, back to the market. And all that fun stuff. I wanted to get back to you guys. So so remember that. When you watch these videos, I do it for you. I do it for you. You, you, and you. Yes, you watching right now. I'm doing it for you. This is for all the people out there. All the haters. All the lovers. All the supporters. And all the... What else is there? Everything. I'm doing it for everybody out there. But I'm happy. I'm back. I'm green today. Oh, God. This stuff's going higher. You thought I left. You thought I quit. You thought you ran me off of YouTube. Remember, kids. We've been doing it for... Almost a year now, and there's nobody else out there doing it like we do. Maybe people are making more money than I am. It's a lot more fun. I'm a lot more entertaining. I actually show you the real live trades and... Oh my baby Jesus, it's going high. You've got to see all the action. Get ready. Let's do it. Get ready. Roll that intro. Put the... Go, 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 go. All right, all right. Here we go. Looking here at DFBG. Try jumping here at 450. See if I get filled. No fill. Oh, wow. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. So there's the break over five back up there to the view app area. That was awesome. See if this pulls back down there to the $5 area. So I missed out on that big move. I was trying to get that fill there at 450. I was hoping we might pull back there a little bit, a little bit lower to 450 there. Just not getting it. Look at it up there to 540 now. That's awesome. Ugh. Just wait. We're going to sit back here. Sit back and wait. Basically, had this downtrend since pre market just coming down. It got all the way to $7. So I was thinking if we could find some support there at the 420, 450 area right there at open, we might get a little bounce back above $5. You can see the view apps there. And, you know, had the had the EMAs, everything kind of lining up there at the 460 area. So. Just was thinking we might get a little bit of a squeeze, might be some profit taking, some shorts covering, and uh, might be some people just trying to jump in there at open, trying to get that move. And you can see also on the five minute chart, got the EMA is kind of holding that support there at the $4 area. So nice little setup there, DFBG. Jump here, a small size there at 481. See if this can act as some support there. Jump back up above $5. Oh, nice little drop there. I'm going to stop there at the 460s. Wow. That was great. That was just beautiful, wasn't it? There's the big drop. Ho, ho, ho. That's awesome. So, small size, $80 on that one. I was hoping we might uh, turn this 480 area into support. Maybe get a push back up there. To the 550s, you can see all over the place this stock right now. Just jumping up, down, it's volatile, volatile, if you want to call it that. CLDC about to get halted here, 535. All right, got some action this morning, baby. First day back, we got some action. We got some action. See if we can get filled here at 420. See if this doesn't pop back up here. Oh, big drop. Four four dollar again. Uh, just not holding there. Oh man. Alright, off to the next. Let's stop messing with that. That's not what we need to be doing. Down $130. What in the world is going on right now? First day back. Really blowing it. Blowing it. This is exactly what I did not want to do today. Start blowing it. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. DFBG, why are you going to do me like that? Why are you going to do me like that, DFBG? XBIO was a crazy one yesterday as well. So 
So you know, jump here on a small size on XPO, maybe get a big crazy move to the upside. Let's we'll see, 630 area be my stop loss. All right, let's see if this can get back above seven dollars here. Six seventy resistance holding it down right now. Got lower volume on this right now. Not a ton of volume. XBO trying to make its mind up here. I think if we can get above that 670 area, it might get a nice push above back up to that high of day or possibly higher. Higher, higher, higher. Big massive seller there at 675. Level two showing that seller there. things all over the place it's not getting a ton of volume right now need more volume to push through these sellers jump out there 660 looks like CLDC is about to reopen here let's see if there's some more action on CLDC This little wash out there on CLDC. I'm going to jump in here at the 580s and see if this can't find some support and push back up above $6. All right, all right. There we go. Trying to push back above 6 here. Let's see if we can get a new high of day out of this thing. Why not? Got small size. Trading with small size today. Just first day back, you know. Gotta get, gotta get the, gotta get the dust off the, the old brain here. I'm gonna take it there at 607. That's not bad. That's not bad. Kind of just slowing down there. Walking a little bit of profit today, or try to lock in some profit. So. 60 bucks there on CLDC, $15 there on XBIO, uh, down 130 there on DFBG. DFBG was just uh, a hard one this morning, really. I was hoping we'd find some support there. Uh, you can see it actually, uh, that 420, it got back up there to the 460s. So there was, there was uh, some opportunity. I was really hoping this would kind of break out and uh, you know we get this nice push back up there to the 550s. Uh, sort of like how CLDC just did from that 580 up there to 610. Uh, you can see how it's kind of slowing down there. Uh, I was really hoping this, it would just explode one more time. Give me that explosion, baby. But no explosion there. And ended up just taking it there at 607. So CLDC getting the wash out there a little bit lower than I wanted it to. Uh, I was hoping... We kind of bounce off the VWAP, the EMA there. I got uh, 250 there at 581, 250 there at 548. So hopefully we can find some support here at this 550 area. We'll see. It's not looking good right now. It is not looking good. What did I do? What did you do, Patrick? Oh, no. Oh, baby Jesus. Baby Jesus, what did you do? What did you do? Was, you see this 580 here. I was thinking we might find some support at the 580. Ramp back up there one more time. Get above high of day. This stock has been going crazy the last couple days. You can see the daily chart here. Uh, yesterday going from $2 up there to $6. Uh, the day before going from, or today. Is that today or yesterday? Yeah, I think, no, that's today. This is today. So yesterday going from two dollars to the six dollar area, and then today going from four dollars to six forty, and I uh, was thinking we might get one more big run today, at least one more big spike. And I mean, I, I guess you got a big spike from three sixty to six fifty, and now it's probably gonna be done. Now it's gonna crash and burn. Funny, I told myself this morning that I just wanted to have a nice, easy, 
relaxing, mellow day. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would call that today. I mean, it's, it, I'm pretty relaxed. I feel fine. I'm trading with smaller size. Not really that worried about it, but still, uh, definitely didn't think I'd be down you know, $200 on the day. If this opens up much lower, it's going to be nasty. So uh, that's what happens. You can see what happens when you play these crazy stocks. And you get a stock like this, you know, that dropped from 580. You can see it had the support there, 580 area, had that support. People were buying a little, you know, pushing up there. I was thinking we got this doji there that we'd get this trend reversal and then start to trend higher. Well, uh, you can also see how it broke down there. It broke down solid right through that 580 support down there to the 550s. This thing's really just kind of overextended in general, but I was thinking, you know, we might find some support there, the 560s. So we'll see what happens once this reopens. We got about a bit of a spread here. Let's see if we can pop this up back. Let's see if we can pop this back up above seven, above 570. Get the bid to pop up there. There's a big buyer there, 570. Let's see if this will push a little bit. So I'm taking there at 572. So that's, oh, there's a push. In. Oh, 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 God, you got to be kidding me. Who are you? Oh, baby, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Come on. Wow. There she goes again. 612 now. D. Cheese. So that was a roll. That was a roller coaster. A old roller coaster of a ride there. Look at that. Looks like a roller coaster. Looks like the looks like the like uh, the Hulk at Universal Studios going straight up, and then coming back down, getting halted on the way down. I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna get stuck in this hole. It's gonna crash on me. Well, look at it. It popped back up there to six, uh, six sixteen. So jumping back in here, one more time. Why not? You know, small size. I feel okay about it. Let's see if we can't get this push. Let's get a push back after the high of day. Come on, give me that push of high of day, baby. Let's see if we can get it. 650 or above. I want that push. That push. Look at the spread right now. I got a bit of a spread here. Let's see if this thing can push above uh, 650. Big buyer there at six dollars. See if it'll push. Try to find some support there. And push this thing above 620. Get that push all the way up there to high of day. Kind of consolidating here. 580 area. Need some more volume to fill in here. Hold this support there. Got the VWAP there at 570. Got the EMAs lining up. Five-minute chart looking decent. Bouncing off the VWAP there. Pushing back up there. Got some buyers stepping in there. Let's see if this can get moving here. Get back above six dollars. Get that push to high of day. Bit of a battle right here. Which way is it gonna go? Big again, big seller there at six oh nine. I think if this can hold the six dollar area here for a little bit longer, we might get this move. It's gotta hold this six dollars. Get through these sellers that are sitting there below this 620 area. They're holding it down there. Using that previous resistance as an area to short at. There we go. See so if we can get up to high of day now, above 620. There we go, 659, beautiful. And that's gonna put me up green on the day. That's what I needed. Oh, now it's getting halted. Well, isn't that funny? Talk about a, talk about a, talk about luck. Talk about luck. I'm happy, I'm not gonna worry about it. I am not going to worry about it. I'm gonna be happy with that. So today, trading with a little bit smaller size. Like I said, it's the first day back. I've been gone for two weeks. I've been traveling. I've been having fun. I haven't been trading, and uh, you know it's it's been it's been good. It's also been interesting because a lot of times I've been looking at the charts. It's been you know every once in a while I take a look at the charts, see what stocks are moving around, 
see what the patterns are. And it looks like the last couple of days, the market has been really hot. You know, there's been a lot of big movers. So today, uh, first day back, like I said, I was just trying to really just, all right, let's just get, let's get into it. I think I also put some pressure on myself because uh, this more I I will. I didn't want to put the pressure on myself because it was the first day back and I didn't want to like, oh, I got to have a big winner today because it's my first day back. But instead, I'm pretty happy uh, just to be green on the day. I'm up $171 after commissions and fees. It's going to be right around $140 on the day. So it's not, it's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It is what it is. And then obviously this, uh, this big explosion right there, that, uh, that halt, uh, this this thing's probably going to go to $7. It's probably going to go to $7 after the halt. Uh, I think my issue at this, I think really, <clears throat> my issue for this trade was, I just didn't really, get, I, my issue for this trade was, I didn't get a beautiful entry. Uh, obviously, you know, I was buying here. I got this whole little area here. And then we pushed back up there to base, basically could break even. So I was like down 150 bucks. Uh, you know, I, I was, like in the red, $150. So it got halted. And I was like, oh, this is this is just what I needed. But instead, you know, the stock ended up going back up. And it's just really hard because I I took pro I took, kind of just got out for a break even because I kind of just got out for a little bit of profit because I was like, I'm getting out. I'm just not going to risk this one. You know, it's getting halted on the way down. It's not showing a ton of strength. The spread's kind of like all over the place. Really the volume, you look at the volume through here. I mean, this candle, this, where is it at? This candle, these two candles, 50,000, 26,000, 6,000 shares right here. So the volume just wasn't there. It was consolidating. And now you can see once this broke out, there's the volume again. So uh, my entry, <clears throat> so my entry there at the $6 area, I mean, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like, oh, that's the worst entry ever. But definitely, uh, you know, I would have felt a little bit better about holding this through uh, that push above high of day. If I really, uh, you know, would have had a better entry down there at the 580s, because you can see how earlier, you know, this thing popped up there to 626 and then pulled right back down there. So I was kind of like, oh man, this thing's gonna go to high of day and it's gonna pull back to six and then it's gonna be done or who knows. So like I said, I'm green on the day and that's really all that matters, kids. Being green, stay away from drugs and be green. Day trading, maybe a new saying, you know, like a new dare saying. Don't do drugs. Don't smoke cigarettes. Get green, day trading. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how that would work. If the whole entire world quit doing bad things and just, well, if the whole entire world was day trading, let's think about that. If the whole entire world started to day trade, the world would basically collapse because nobody would work anywhere. No one would do anything. No one would, it just wouldn't work. I, someone's got to work, you know? Someone's got to work the fast food joint. Someone's got to work at the gas station. Someone's got to keep this world running. And if everyone decided to be a millionaire on YouTube, day traders, you know, we all know there's a lot of millionaires out there, but there it is. I'm going to just walk away. It's 10, 15. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with making a hundred dollars today. First day back. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to complain. So there it is. CLDC $286. And the crazy thing is the great, I mean, not really the crazy thing, but the cool thing is, is I was trading with smaller size, you know, 500 shares, 250 shares, 350 shares. And that proves even with trading with small size, you can make, you can make money. You can make money. You can also lose money. You know, uh, DFBG, where's it at now? DFBG, look at this thing, just trending lower there. You know, I lost $130 in this stock but only with 250 shares. So you can see that the risk is there, but the reward is also there. And it kind of is what it is. I've got a million things I got to do. I'm going to finish this video up and I'm going to talk to you guys later on. Don't worry. I'm back. I didn't quit day trading. It's going to happen. We're going to be making some money. We're going to be having some fun right here on the channel. The number one day trading channel out there. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to do what we're doing, but nobody's doing it the right way. No one's doing it like us. I mean, maybe they're making more money. Maybe maybe they're they're doing it better, but we're doing it the, the most fun. There's the, the most fun is happening right here so make sure you tune in every single day for the next couple of years because i'll be here oh, it's kind of depressing now now i'm depressing myself thinking that i'm gonna be making youtube videos for the next couple of years i gotta go i gotta get out of here i'll talk to you guys later on mm -hmm.